Hey YouTube, so I just got done re-watching the first episode of Bill Nye Saves the World. Now, watching this episode, I... I feel... I really feel embarrassed for Bill Nye. I mean, this guy doesn't know anything about science. He doesn't know... He's not a scientist. Um, as I talked about in my previous videos, he has a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering. Now, maybe it's unfair for me to say he doesn't know anything about science because... Mechanical engineers have to learn quite a bit of physics, but um, he's not a scientist by any means. And in this first episode, he was talking about, what else? Climate change. And, of course, you know, climate change is the new politically correct term for global warming. Um, because every few years, people just change the terminology they use, and you have to keep up with the, uh, you have to keep up with the new slang that the kids are using. So... Watching this episode, as somebody who actually has a science background, I, I was really bothered by this. I mean, he really didn't make a good case for what he's trying to argue. Now, I know it's supposed to be a TV show that's, you know, only about 30 minutes long. Um, and I'm saying 30 minutes because the second episode is actually paused right now. So I'm assuming that's about the same length the first episode was. Um, but... I watched this and there were so many leaps in logic. Like the main the main piece of evidence they used for global warming was hey, the waters around Venice are rising. And I have a problem with this because the city of Venice is sinking. I mean, it's a city that's actually sinking into the ocean like oh well the waters are rising. You know, see it's up to here on it's up to here on the wall. And I'm like, well how much of that is just the fact that the city has been sinking for since forever and a day? Um, so there were a lot of leaps in logic along those lines. Um, also, they talked about changing weather patterns being responsible for, you know, things happening in Venice like that. And again, um, there's leaps in logic here because um, the show didn't really do anything to prove that human beings are the primary cause of global warming. Um, the show also didn't um, do anything to prove that what we're seeing with changes in climate right now is anything that beyond what's normal. Um, you now, granted, I, I've heard Bill Nye, you know, say things along those lines. He talks about the rate of change, you know, things like that. Um, and yeah, he did mention that in this episode, but I mean, there were just so... I feel like I'm a broken record here. There are just so many leaps in logic. Um, towards the end of the show, they had it where Bill and I blew into a uh, blew into a funnel just to say, "Hey, um, actually, I think it was an Erlenmeyer flask, but um, I was I want to say it was an Erlenmeyer flask, but you know how human memory is." Um, and he was blowing into this, saying, "Okay, well, hey." Carbon dioxide is causing the oceans to become more acidic. And I'm like, well, yeah, carbon dioxide would cause water to become acidic. And they're saying, well, this acidi this increased acidity of the oceans, um, lowering pH, this is causing a lot of marine life to die. And I've heard this before. People say this about coral reefs and stuff like that. But... The problem is they didn't really try they didn't really do anything to prove that this is actually what's going on. So even if you can prove that carbon dioxide is being released and it's causing the oceans to become acidic, and you prove that coral reefs are bleaching and dying, that doesn't prove that A is causing B. So even if you can prove that mankind is causing the oceans to become more acidic, and you can prove that the coral reefs are dying. That doesn't mean that the oceans becoming acidic is the cause of the coral reefs dying. So, now granted, I mean, I know it's only a... I know it's only a 30-minute show, but I did see there's so many problems. And I really think it's a mistake to have somebody like Bill Nye, who gets on TV and talks about how he wants to put scientists in jail, having him be the face of the public understanding of science... Oh, Shayna, be quiet. Sorry, guys, my dog is growling at me. Um, yes, Bill Nye can talk, too. You might not like what he has to say, but he can talk, too. Um, 
Now I know how Steven Crowder feels when his uh, dog growls. Um, you're a good girl. So now I will say at the end of the show, they talked about green energy. They talked about, um, they said, well, we have the technology to implement, um, have all have all of our energy come from green energy right now. Now, well, technically we do have the technology to make that happen. Um, there are a lot of economic problems with it that they didn't talk about. Um, for example, in Europe where they're trying to really rely on wind and solar, um, they're having energy poverty in different parts of Europe. So energy poverty is a real problem in Europe. So people, they need heat. They need, um, they need to be able to survive. I mean, you need, you need electricity. And in some parts of Europe, they just don't have enough of it at certain times of the day or certain, I mean, the wind isn't always blowing. The sun isn't always shining. So, um, it was, watching the show was definitely, uh, definitely an issue. And, oh, yeah, towards the beginning they talked about, uh, you know, oh, well, the cocoa beans are disappearing. The trees producing the cocoa beans are disappearing. And it's like, and, oh, it's because of global warming. And I'm like, wait a minute. I mean, even, even if you be- according to... I found this to be a real issue because, I mean, you're claiming that all these massive problems are happening because of an increase in temperature that can barely be measured around the world. I mean, you know, yeah, okay, yeah, fine. An increase in about one degree, two degrees, um, okay, um, maybe that can happen. Maybe that can cause, you know, severe, all these severe problems. Um, But the onus is really on the person making the claim to prove it. And, you know, just full disclosure, like I'm somebody who's, um, I'm agnostic about global warming. So I don't know. Um, Maybe, maybe the earth is warming at an unusual pace. I don't know. Maybe mankind is the problem is the cause of that. I don't know. Um, what I do know is that there's petitions out there. There's a there's a paper that some thirty thousand scientists signed saying, "Hey, we are really skeptical of this global warming alarmism." Um, there's studies out there claiming, "Oh, ninety seven percent of scientists agree," but then you look into these surveys and they pre-screen scientists so they're only interviewing scientists that they already know are pretty much going to agree so there's a lot of issues that i have on this issue um and pardon me if i'm not too eloquent uh you know i didn't sleep at all last night i'm trying to uh stay up the whole day and go to bed tonight to be on a proper schedule um and I know people are going to troll me over, you know, my my uh, quip about, hey, was that an Erlenmeyer flask or is it some other kind of flask, you know, because human memory isn't perfect. Whatever. Um, but I think my concluding thoughts about, you know, this Bill Nye episode is that, well, yeah, it's short. Um, and I appreciate that he wants to encourage green energy. But Bill Nye is so totalitarian and so much wants to force his beliefs on others. Like, have the government send people to jail for not agreeing with him. Actual scientists, you know, not just, you know, jerks who played scientists on TV 20 years ago. And, you know, I've never, I don't think I've ever called anybody a name on this, uh, on my channel. And, you know what, I'm not even going to edit it out. Um, Because when you're such a Nazi that you're going to go and put people in jail for not agreeing with you. I uh, I'm sorry. Like there's there's not much uh I mean there's not much left. I'll be cordial, I'll be polite to you, but um I mean this is exactly what the Nazis did. And to be honest, when I have when you, if you can't win a scientific debate without putting scientists in jail for di- who disagree with you, then that says a lot about your confidence in your position. 
Anyway, this video has gone on for over 10 minutes now, so uh, be sure to subscribe, comment, rate. Be sure to share this video with your friends. Um, be sure to check out my other videos. Um, and be sure to check out my websites, too. I'll leave a link in the description box. This is Greg, out.